So I wanted to bring an old school deck back with a new school feel to it. So let's get started. Hey, yo, Alex, hit him with that for me, bruh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What, what was that? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't, I don't think they heard you, bro. Bell, man. Hit the bell. I don't think they heard you, bro. Don't forget. Like and subscribe, man. I better do that. That's how you get more content. Hit the bell. And the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Bell. Click it. Be short, so I don't know where it's working. What's good, everyone? It's your boy Jakari from Twisted Nightmare Gaming, and I'm back at you with another deck profile. So, you're going to probably see a couple of builds with some of the monsters that are sitting at the very top coming up over the next, uh, periodically over the next couple of weeks, and months, depending on how I feel about it. But, you do see the zombie, the, the new ghost uh, stuff for the ghost fusion out of this deck so I thought I would take that for a, for a whirl and we're gonna get straight away into this I do have this split between the ghost fusion stuff the zombie good stuff staples and you know somebody else that came along for the ride in a very short form and just because it was an old school feel, I brought back the old mat with my with my head on solemn judgment. So first off, we got Ghost Lancer, the Underworld Spearman, and in all truth, ratios are depending. I'm still testing this deck out a little bit. And let me get that in two shot. There we go. His effect is simply your opponent can, uh, if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Cannot be destroyed by battle except with monsters special from special summon from the extra deck. If this card attacks a defense position monster, it's got piercing battle damage. It is not a once per turn. So, in essence, it is a walking cyber dragon because it's a level 5 dark zombie, but it only has 2k attack, it has zero defense. But its main thing is it's oh, my opponent has a monster. Cool, specialist from my hand. And then we have. Three Ghost Wyvern, the Underworld Dragon, and this is your main searcher for Ghost Fusion. But I, I'll read its effect. It's if this card is normal special summon, you can add one Ghost Fusion from your deck to your hand. During the end phase, if this card is currently banished and it was banished this turn you can you can take one level four or one level two or lower zombie tuner from your deck and either dump it or add it to your hand you can only activate each effect of ghost wyvern once per turn so it allows you to during the end phase just dump you know if it's banished and it was banished that turn Easily just dump Plague Spreader, Mad Mauler, or if you really want to go this far with it, Pain Painter, but nobody fucking runs Pain Painter. Even I don't run Pain Painter. Uh, or you could dump Glow Up Bloom. Trigger Glow Up Bloom, banish it to Special Balladrock, or another level 5 or higher zombie. Which also means you could in essence do you know things like Shang-Chi or Baladrock if you're running a vampire build any of the level 5 or higher vampires and something else that's in this deck and then the last thing for the for the ghost fusion part is of course 
the Ghost Fusion. And Ghost Fusion reads, Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using only zombie monsters you control as material. If your life points are lower than your opponent, you can also banish up to one zombie monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard as material. You can activate one Ghost Fusion. Alright, and now into the zombie good stuff. So, one Shang-Chi, one Baladrock, two Glow Up Bloom, one Gozuki, two Mad Mauler, three Mizuki, two Banshee. One Plague Spreader and two Unizombie. Now, to be honest with you, the main reason why I'm only running the two Unizombie, one Gozuki, instead of three Unizombie and maybe two uh, two Gozuki is space. This deck is 45 cards, and I needed to appropriately fit what I needed of every single part of the deck into the deck. So. That, that simply explains why things are run the way they are. That and um, the two Globe Blooms and the two Mad Maulers simply off of because of uh, Ghost Wyvern. So. And then the last part of this is Eldritch. But it's very scaled down. So, two Eldritch, three uh, Sanguine, and one Golden Land Forever. That's it. That's all the Eldritch. Simply put, that, that is literally it. I put the Golden Land Forever to be in here simply because it's a search target for when you banish the Sanguines. And Eldritch is just in here for... It being Eldritch, A, B, it's a zombie, and C, I do run the fusion. So, then we have this split into, actually, yeah, nah, not even a branded section. It's just more banished focus stuff. So, two burial, one branded regained, one foolish. Of course, I have the instants and the readies. One monster reborn. Two super polys. And I have that out of order. I should have put the the branded regain before the burial, but whatever. Two triple tactics talents, three zombie worlds, and then the last two cards are something I'm known for two transmigration prophecies. Yes. This, this deck cannot stop a nosebleed in the middle of a sandstorm. And I'm saying it just like that because this is exactly what it, what it is. But I built this deck for it to be fun. Not really to be a serious contender or anything like that. I built it because A, it's zombies, and B, it was fun. One Alvane. Instant ready target. One Entis, instant target. One Drago Necro. Two Eldritch, the Mad Golden Lord. Hence the reason why Eldritch is in here. Hence why there are so many level fives in here. Five or higher. One Guardian Chimera. Because the 
the funniest part about the interaction with Ghost Fusion is I can do this if I am able if 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 I meet the requirement of my uh hand be my, my uh, life points being lower than my opponents then I can freely just go into this by banishing one of the one of the monsters from my hand and then the last fusion is starting them. The other thing is, is I mean, I could play Triff Overton in this deck if I wanted to. I run enough darks. I could run a small branded package in here if I wanted to, but I don't run just fusions. So, one Boral in just because it's funny. Another big be all end all boss monster in this deck, and then two vampire suckers. Same for the link monsters, everything else is synchros, and you kind of know what the synchro good stuff is for this deck. I've used them so many times one bit, one Baron de Four, one Immortal Dragon, one Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord, one Skeletal Dragon Felgrin. And one Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign Chain Game. Of course, the Baron and the Chain Ying are in here. For those turns, you don't get locked in the zombies, or you put them out before you get locked in the zombies. It's not hard to do in this deck. But again, like I said. I made this deck to have fun. The side deck is a is a little bit less fun. In fact, the side deck is a work in progress, but I will show it either way. It's because I keep everything together, so uh, one IP. Then it's the the third outlitch, the third super poly. Couple of zombie hand traps here. It's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then because I actually can play it in here, and I have ways of pulling it off, duality. Uh, some other options for this deck. Uh, also, the shadows light. I am sorry for that glare, so we'll slide this over here, two lightning storms, the Yukiona, the third sucker, uh, Theseus, and the 38. The Magma Mud is not in here. Oh no, I think I just knocked off my, oh, there it is. Died again. <sighs> okay, whatever. Well, folks, uh, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I built it because it was zombies. I built it because I wanted to have fun with it. Uh, that's really all it is to it. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just because it's zombies. Because it's me. So... This has been your boy Jakari for Twisted Nightmare Gaming. I am currently working on a Predator Plant build using Ghost Fusion because I thought it'd be funny. I kind of want to do the branded one now talking about it, but again, maybe. It really depends on how I feel. But as always, folks, I will catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell for all future notes. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.